Welcome to Unreal. We're going to have a lot of Unity expats in the next couple of weeks, so I thought I would talk about the three things I wish I had known as a Unity developer switching to Unreal. The first thing is you do not have to code in C++. Everybody just uses blueprints these days. Especially for smaller games and indie games, you're not going to be using any C++. It's all blueprints. Now that can sound a little bit restrictive. If you're a C sharp developer and you're like, I'm used to developing using lines of code. That's how I express myself. So am I. It's my day job. But blueprints are very useful. They're easy, they're fast, they're intuitive. They are the right way to express game logic. Nearly everybody I've talked to, including people who are hardcore coders, just find blueprints to be easier and faster. So I strongly recommend you give them a shot. The one thing about blueprints you have to realize is that they are extremely domain specific. This blueprint is the event graph on the walker. There's also construction scripts and there's function scripts and macro scripts. And if we go over to other kinds of objects, we'll find shader scripts and control rig scripts and animation blueprint scripts. All of these have different functionality. They look very similar on the surface because they all use the same kind of interface. But they all do different things because they're attached to different kinds of objects and they have different kinds of restrictions. This will bite you until you realize that really what you just need to know is where you're supposed to do what you're trying to do. And that leads us to the second thing I wish I had known. In Unity, you pretty much just imagine how you would like to develop something and then do it that way. And it's a huge pain in the butt and it doesn't extend right and you have to refactor it eventually and it's, you know, it's going to be a... a technical debt later on, but you can basically just kind of imagine how you want things to go and push. Unreal really isn't like that. In Unreal, there is a best way to do everything. This is because thousands of games have been released in Unreal, so if you want something that's already been in a game, for example, double jumping, there is a right way to do it in Unreal. And you just have to find that right way. It's already end-to-end -end integrated. It's going to be smooth sailing once you find it, but you have to find it. For that reason, I strongly recommend that you join some kind of, say, Discord group or something similar to help you ask questions of Unreal devs who have already gone through it all and already understand what you're trying to do and how Unreal wants you to do it. As an example, I gave the double jump. Well, how do you think... I should program double jumping into this game. Shall I program it for you right now? I select the character for the player. I go over here. I type jump. Now I can double jump. Unreal's got it all already figured out because it has had a thousand games go through it already. You just have to figure out how to reach that stuff on your own. Now the third thing I wish I had been told is that Unity's game objects are not the same as Unreal's actors. A lot of people try and say that they're similar. They are not. Actors play a completely different role. Actors are much more self-contained. Game objects tend to get nested and stuff like that. And if you try and treat these actors as game objects, you are going to end up banging your head against some of the most basic possible stuff. For example, here you can see I've got a human control character over there, and I've got uh, eyelashes and hair inside of that character. But that does not mean that those eyelashes and hair are actually subordinate to that character. The eyelashes and hair you've got here are merely linked via the transform. If I were to delete the control rig, these two things would still exist, and they would still just be in the scene wherever I left them. You can't really nest actors. That's not how Unreal is built. Once you understand that, it's easy sailing. But until you internalize that, and if you're used to Unity and your method of just nesting actors inside of actors inside of actors, you might try to nest an actor inside of an actor, and that will get you off into the weeds of spawn child actor and stuff like that, and that's just not where you want to go. So, the third thing I wish I had known, actors are not game objects, and you do not nest them. That's it. Happy sailing, and feel free to ask questions down below.